Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Diane Gu Hong 2. Um, I got this from lubixcubes.com, so it was already pre modded and pre lubed for me, so I could use it right out of the box. I've been using it for just about a week now, uh, so I think it's pretty broken in and it's not going to change much. So, enjoy the review. For a size comparison, as you can see on the right is the Gu Hong 2 and on the left is the Gu Hong. It's just a tiny bit smaller, uh, not much of a noticeable different difference, but all around it's just a tiny bit smaller. And compared to the Zan Shi, which is on the left and the Gu Hong 2 is on the right, and they're almost identical in size, um, which lots of people like the size of the Zan Shi, where it's just a tiny bit smaller than the Gu Hong. And, uh, with the Gu Hong 2, they made it exactly that same size. For the turning, it's hard to give you guys an accurate first impression or uh, what it's like before it's modded and lubed, but uh, doing the 48 point edge mod and the uh, lubixing it, as you can see. It's very smooth, um, almost no click at all. It's also really fairly fast. Um, it's not very tight, uh, but since it doesn't pop, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, as you can see, pretty fast, very smooth turning. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it turns without doing the mod and. Uh, Lubixing it, but I would suggest doing this because this cube is absolutely amazing the way I have it right now. For corner cutting, um, that's about 45, so it's just less than 45. Um, just less than 45 degrees. It also uh, reverse corner cuts about that's I would say like 30 degrees I mean a half a cubie um, yeah about a half a cubie which is really good uh, I mean I take out my Zan Shi it does just a little bit less than the Google 2 so, very nice corner cutting. You won't ever have to deal with uh, it locking up. It just kind of glides through it all very, very easily. Sticker quality. Um, it comes with the normal Guhong stickers. So, I mean, if you've never had a Guhong before, this is a... They're good vinyl stickers. They don't chip very easily unless you like, throw it in your backpack. Uh, and then it ends up with stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, this is my Lin Young 2 after a couple months of use. So they will chip. They won't peel or I guess they'll, they'll peel. I cut that off. But I mean, overall, good stickers. The colors are great. Uh, as you can see, I'm not sure how good that looks on camera. But very vibrant, very different, nothing, you don't have to worry about them being uh, the same. I think I might change these to Cubesmith Half Brights. Hopefully you guys have orange and not purple. Um, sooner or later they're going to have to start selling purple cubes uh, because of the whole uh, argument and lawsuit and whatever. So if you have one with a purple side... Um, I personally don't like it. I would get Cubesmiths and uh, fix it. <laughs> um, get Cubesmith half brights with bright blue and fix it up because I can't stand purple. But it's really up to you. I like these stickers. They're very nice. Um, they don't really need changing unless you have other stickers. So for the pieces, as you can see, it's just a normal white core or clear core. Um, nothing special to normal Guhong type core. Um, top kind of looks normal. It's nothing 
special. I mean, let's see. If you look, they're almost identical. And not really a, much of a difference. Uh, for the center caps, this is a Gu Hong center cap. Um, where it has the square lip. Um, the Gu Hong 2, they decided to make it more of that um, tooth shape. And then they also added extra onto the corner so it sticks in better. Um, and doesn't come out. So you shouldn't have to worry about any of that extra crap on here that makes them pop out like normally. So that's good. For the corners, um, there's not much of a difference um, between this and a regular Gu Hong. As you can see here on the Gu Hong 2, they go in, um, whereas these are just flat. And I think these right here are a little bit more pronounced. But that is just about it. There's not much else of a difference there. Um, as most of you know, it has torpedoes, which um, stop it from popping. And as you can maybe see... Now there's no bump there, that's because it has been shaved off with the 48 point edge mod. Um, so these pieces, there's not a huge difference. Um, I would say just about, they're just about the same. Maybe a little bit few minor, um, there's probably the greatest, it's like this part, these parts right here. A little bit more pronounced on the Gu Hong too. Um, but other than that, there's really not that much of a difference. They added uh, they added torpedoes. They um, kind of rounded out the shape a little bit more, made it a little bit smaller. And whatever they did, it's great. Um, I would suggest the Gu Hong 2 over the Gu Hong any day. But the Gu Hong is still quite an amazing cube. Pops and lockups. Um, I haven't found many lockups. Uh, if you try to reverse corner cut too much, it will lock up. Um, and even you don't. No one corner cuts like this. I mean, it's very rare that you get anything over 45. So um, but yeah, it doesn't really lock up all that much. Little people. I mean, it's very, it's a very fluid cube. There's no, nothing that really causes it to lock up. Um, overall, I just think it's, it's a great, great cube in that aspect that it, it kind of lets you do whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about it. So, I kind of mentioned the speed and the turning. It's a very fast cube. Um, I've thought about tightening it a little to slow it down, but I haven't found real the need. Uh, it sometimes I'll sometimes overturn, um, but as long as I'm thinking about it, I get very accurate turns and very accurate speed. Um, but if you find it's too fast after lubing it and modding it or whatever, whatever you're gonna do with it, uh, you can always tighten it, and that usually lowers the speed. You can also wipe off some of the loop and that will slow uh, slow it down a little bit too. My recommendations. I say get this wow. cube. And I know lots of you don't believe in Lubix, um, but I say get the Lubix cube version because one, you don't have to mess with it, you don't have to lube it, you don't have to do anything. You just take it out of the box and break it in for a couple days. And that makes life so much easier on you. Um, but if you're into the putting it together and all that, either way, get this cube. It's amazing, especially with Lubix in it. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I like it almost more than my uh, my Elite. So 
it is just it's an amazing cube and it just it it works great so go ahead and get this um, anyone I mean usually I'd recommend a, a slower cube for someone who's be just beginning you get the goo hong and then you can upgrade to this but this is a great a great advanced cube that anyone can use whether you're a beginner or a pro but if you if you're looking for that speed and accuracy with great corner cutting and a great smooth feel this is the cube that you need to get so just some of my afterthoughts um, after playing with this cube for a while I found that sometimes I do overturn which I, I mentioned um, but you overturn you can cut the corner it's not that big of a deal uh, it's very smooth and I enjoy that uh, and I guess sometimes this middle layer it's very fast so it can get out of alignment a little bit but nothing you have to worry about uh, but yeah this is just a great cube and I thoroughly enjoy this cube I'm glad I spent the money on it uh, so yeah get this cube I love it I think you guys would love it too if you have any questions give me a comment below um, let me do some solves for you I'm just gonna do maybe a couple maybe five see how long it takes um, so enjoy and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching